whatever she said. It's whatever she said. Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video. And today, of course, I have another wig. I mean, what else, right? Anyway, this is what the wig is looking like on the stock card. This one is from Zuriusis Ben. This is Ben Long. I have the original Ben, y'all. So, yeah, this is what she's looking like. And of course, before we get too involved in this wig review, I'd like to give a huge shout out to EbonyLine.com for sending me this unit to do a review on. Thank you very much. Y'all already know it is highly, highly appreciated. So let's get into what Ben Long is all about. First of all, like I told you, this is a longer version of the original Ben, which is shorter. So yeah, if y'all hadn't noticed, this is the, the shorter Ben. And that was a center part wig. This one right here is a side part. Which side? I don't know yet, but I'm hoping it's the left side part. But anyway, other details about this one is that you can heat this one up to 400 Fahrenheit. Um, I don't even know what else. <laughs> it's not much to say about it. And that's about it. So it comes in a lot of pretty colors. And y'all, I decided to get tie-dye parade, which is my very, very first time trying any tie-dye colors. As y'all can see, I was highly influenced and motivated by the pink, pinky purple color in this wig. Y'all, I see a lot of colors that I like. Y'all can probably see this again in another video. Might, might be a makeup video because I'm loving these greens and yellow and blue. Y'all gonna see it again. Just makeup. Reason why my makeup looks like this, y'all, I was extra. Ben has me being extra today for some reason, y'all. She done made me came out of my regular day, regular everyday shell. So, yes, this is what she's looking like in the inside. We do have the one comb in the back with the two adjustable draw straps and the two combs in the front with some brown lace, y'all. So, I might not even have to do much to the lace, but we'll see. So, anyway, like I was saying, as for the makeup, I am extra because of Ben. I did record it, y'all. So, if you're interested in, you know, some makeup, of course. I have been doing a lot more makeup videos, so if you're interested in this look, I will leave the link in the description box below. And of course, if you're interested in the wig that I am wearing, I will leave the link in the description box below for you to check this review out too. So yeah, I'll be right back with Ben on. Okay, y'all, so this is what she is looking like directly on my head. Nothing done to her. And y'all, this is gonna be an easy slate. I could just tell. Easy, plop and go like I like. But of course, I'm a little disappointed because she is a right side part, y'all. But anyway, y'all know I rock it regardless, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, let's get up close in person so y'all can see what this parting space is looking like. Parting space is looking very, very nice, y'all. I know all I have to do is put some powder and we're good to go. As for the ear to ear situation, a little bit of my edges is peeping out on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and mesh that in with my hairline as for the the hairline itself I can see a little bit of pre pluckation very little it's not a bad pre pluckation I can see but they didn't say that we would have pre pluckation anyway so I take it so um as for big hair friendly because I always forget if it's big hair friendly because I can't fit most wigs so this is how far I can pull it down, y'all. I always judge it by this because I have this big forehead. And if I can pull it down, y'all should be able to wear it. Unless y'all have like a huge head. But if you are um, 22 inches and a half to maybe 23, you should be able to wear it. But I think, like Kai would say, it's big head associated, y'all. So it's not extra, extra roomy. In this cap but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down y'all and we will talk about her at the end of the video
y'all. So let's talk about Ben Long. As y'all can tell by the smile on my face, I am feeling her, y'all. I'm loving the hair. The color is really fun. I'm really loving the color of this wig. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna see me a lot more with this wig on because I'm inspired by some of these colors in the wig definitely makeup coming so anyway let's get into all the other details about this unit at least my thoughts on it anyway so as for the texture of this one so i'm not sure if my yakki people are going to be in love with this one but this one is more on the silky side so i'm not sure if y'all gonna love it but i don't think she's too silky at all she's definitely not too shiny so yeah i think it's really nice y'all definitely not too shiny doesn't look like baby doll hair or anything like that so i'm feeling the silky texture on this one so i don't think y'all y'all may not be mad but anyway as for density as for density this is more on the natural side but it's not too thin at all not at all so i love the density on this one it looked like it can be somebody's really good like super healthy natural hair when it comes to the density as for tangling, I haven't gotten any tangles since I've been playing in this wig at all. And as y'all can see, I'm still running my fingers through it and I'm not getting stuck. No no snags at all. So um, as for the party space, y'all know the party space is really nice. I, all I had to do was put some powder in it and I was good to go. She is almost a plop and go, y'all. Almost. And I say that because she is a little bit more on the round side when it comes to the hairline which is not a plus in my book but it's not a negative because i did lay the baby hairs down so in my opinion i'm thinking that y'all may want to go and you know make y'all some baby hairs because there are no baby hairs on this unit so i did cut a few and i laid them down which looks to me like it's better in my opinion it looks like a better natural hairline in my opinion so i do like that about this unit as well as for the cons, I really only have one con, and the con is that it did shed quite a bit when I took it, when I first took it out of the box. I had a lot of hair on my legs, but as of now, I haven't been getting any shedding from this wig at all, but I did get some in the beginning, so I'm not sure if she's going to be a shedder all day, or it was just the hair that was, you know, loose in the box, but... That's really my only con because I'm feeling the wig. The wig is super pretty, y'all. Super soft and, I mean, I like her. And y'all know I love bobs anyway. This is a cute bob. I would love this bob in a natural color too. This would be super cute. Bobs are one of my favorite things to wear anyway. So I'm definitely here for long bin and short bin too because like I told y'all, I did do a review on that one. It will be in the description box below if you want to go ahead and check out that review too. So let's so, talk about the price. As for the price, you can find this one on ebonyline.com site right now for $29.95 for the neutral colors and $4 more for the specialty colors like this. So y'all know how I feel about the $4, but I think they put in some work on this one, y'all. So they might be deserving of that $4, y'all. So yeah, I'm not going to even be mad at them about it because yeah, the color on this one looks really, really good. And I'm not going to even complain about the $4. So yes. So y'all know how I feel about Ben. I want to know your thoughts. So definitely drop a comment in the comment section below so we can continue to have this conversation, y'all. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Please like, subscribe, and of course, comment. I want to talk. I will see y'all in my next video.